Hi guys, this is Aiko from Tomuse.com. Today, looking at Workflowy. So Workflowy is one of these tools that is so simple that you kind of wonder, how is it different from a notepad? But actually, I promise, start using it and you will see that it really helps organizing some of these ideas, putting down on paper some of these to-dos that we have, and it has simple functionalities, but that are really powerful. And it can turn it into a tool a little bit like Trello, uh, that you can use for all kinds of different aspects of your personal life and your business. So let's have a quick look at this. First, this is what you will land on when you land on Workflowy.com. If you're not fully convinced as to how powerful Workflowy is, go read some of the use cases at the bottom of their page and you'll have some really interesting stories of how some of these companies or some of these famous people used Workflowy uh, to get some of their work done. Okay, so once you do log into Workflowy, this this actually is what it looks like. So I'm starting with a very blank canvas and it looks empty, right? That's the point. It's that this is where you get started. So let's start with a quick example of home and then office. All right. So what you have to do at home, let's just get started with, I don't know, let's say you have the groceries to do and then you have to uh, call the plumber. Okay. And then for the office, you might need to uh, RSVP for an outing and you might need to, um, I don't know, complete a report, right? Then for your groceries, what do you need to buy at the groceries? You can actually take this down further. Bananas and milk and bread. All right, you get the concept. So you can create all kinds of different indents, right? Up to there, no big deal. The great thing though is that you can actually, if you go next to your words, you'll see that you can actually collapse some of these things, right? So at the high level view, you only have home and office, but then once you start getting further in, you can go up to that, up to that level. If you hover a little bit, you can also have extra uh, features that come out. And then if I bought bread, I can just cross this off, right? can also change here the visibility on the side to only show the things that are left and not the things that are completed, right? Also, if you want to focus a bit more on groceries, click on this, and now you are fully on the grocery page. So you don't need to care to worry about all these other things that are there, and you can just keep on adding extra groceries. If you want to go back to home, actually now we have two home because our first uh, bullet point was named home, but if you want to go back to home, here you are. Same with office. You can zoom into office, you get it, right? Um, let me show you actually how we have used it for Toolmuse actually. So we've listed some of the things that we had to do for our pre-launch and our launch. So we've redesigned our website. What are some of the tasks that are involved in there, right? So if I was to go into the pre-launch, so these were some of the main tasks. And again, if I zoom in, you'll see I have extra tasks here. Hashtags. So hashtags are useful because they actually allow you to have as you see, the text looks different and they just stand out, right? Another way to uh, use hashtag would be hashtag important, or you can also use the at sign. If you want to, um, you know, if a task has to do with someone specifically, you can use the at sign to make that uh, clear and make it stand out. The search functionality is also fantastic. So if I was to search for video, there you go. It shows me wherever I do have videos and as all of them are hashtags, you have them there. All right, so I hope that this has been a useful quick intro to Workflowy. If you already do use it, feel free to go onto our website, find Workflowy. You can also search it through uh, the search menu and let us know what do you like and dislike about it and how do you use it. Thank you so much. Looking forward to catching you soon. Bye-bye.